Do you want to start making pottery? Or maybe you already started, but you don't have access to your own equipment yet. But you can't afford the big names like Brent or Shimpo. Is there any other options available? And yes, there is. In this video, I'm gonna test one of the cheaper pottery wheels on the market and see how it compares to my Shimpo. It's always interesting when you get things like this. Uh, so I'm excited to unpackage it. It does say that you're not allowed to use a knife. But how am I going to open it if I don't cut the tape away? And I usually just hold it up like this and use the knife from the downside. That should sort of limit <laughs> potential damage. Yeah. There's of course a manual. You know, there are two types of people in the world. There are the ones that take the manual, throw it away, and just go ahead and see how it works. I'm sort of like that. And then there's the people that read every single word in the manual before they even connect whatever they bought. I'm not like that. Ah! It is super light. I'm not very good at this. Apparently you just need to use a little more force. Maybe after all, I do need to look in the manual. <laughs> It seems to be a little more complicated than I first thought. Now, oh, probably get, needs some getting used to. <laughs> it's a little more difficult than uh, the one I'm used to for my, from my uh, shimpo. Now I have moved the wheel into my workshop. I put it next to my shimpo wheel and of course, as you can see, it is much smaller. It is also much cheaper. <laughs> On the shampoo, I can adjust the legs, but this is definitely too low. I, I, maybe I should <laughs> sit on the floor like that. Nah, I'm actually gonna use the packaging material because I think that's actually gonna work pretty good for this one. And it is actually pretty solid. <clears throat> and again, it is super nice and it's so light. I'm gonna look forward to utilizing this in the summer, taking it outside. Yeah, this is so much better. One thing I do like about this wheel is that there's room enough for my bucket. I prepared three clay balls. The first one is half a kilo. The wheel should easily do that. So let's see how it goes. There's no drag on it, there's no problem uh, centering the clay. So that's the first side. We expand. It's very nice and even, and um, unlike what I feel, the, the head on is actually very responsive good. So, um, so far, it, it, with, with Half a kilo of clay doesn't actually feel very much different than my sheep, I would say. Um, so with that, it's it's great. So let me just expand this a little bit. I don't know if you know it, it's very even. Uh, that's a good sign of a wheel that, that works. I'll just uh, clean the foot. So just cutting loose. So here we go, the first part on my Bieber wheel. So now let's try with one kilo. I can feel that it's uh, dragging a little more, um, but no problem. I can still easily center this. It's still doing okay, I think. Um, I can feel that it's a little more weight and um, I just need to push the pedal a little bit more for this, um, this clay ball, but it's definitely no problem at all. And again, as you may notice, it's actually running very evenly. So now it's almost the size of the wheel, so I don't know, 20, 25 centimeter wide. I think I got a decent bowl <laughs> out of the one kilo clay. Two parts. So now let's try with two kilo. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but um, we'll see. 
Yeah, now the wheel is definitely fighting a little more, but it's not giving up. But I do have to um, push the pedal much more. But it's still spinning. <laughs> So now I'm going to do something that is even more challenging for a, a smaller and, and less powerful wheel like this. I'm going to split the rim. It's a little bit difficult to get it slow enough, but uh, let me see. I mean, it's, that's actually uh, pretty impressive. Today I'm going to do what I usually refer to as my ravioli sign. Two kilos of clay. I mean, from any point of view, it's not it's not a perfect pot, but um, I think it looks good. So, in conclusion, <laughs> what do you think about this wheel? I must say that I was a little bit skeptical when I first got it because. It's a wheel that only cost about 160 euro compared to my Shimbo, which is about 10 times more. Is it 10 times better? It is a functional wheel. You can weave raw on it. We saw that. Half a kilo, one kilo, two kilo, actually went fine. We're fine. So what are the good and bad things about this little wheel? Well, first of all, good thing is that it works. You can actually throw pottery on it. And I'm also impressed with the pedal even being in plastic that it actually works very smooth. Another thing is of course that it is a little more noisy uh, than the simple whisper is one of the models called. <laughs> there is limits on how much you can throw, of course. It's not as powerful as the bigger uh, wheels. I think for most others, it's not really a problem. And the last thing is uh, the lack of pins, so I can use my bats. You can drill those holes, and uh, I'll show you how you can do that uh, on, on this wheel uh, in another video. So what can you use a cheap wheel like this Viva wheel for? First of all, if you're starting out with pottery, then I think this is a really good option. It's actually functional. You can learn how to wheel throw on this. Another use if you're teaching, and if you want to build a classroom of 10 wheels and you want to teach, this would cost you 1500 bucks to buy 10 wheel wheels. Having 10 shampoo wheels would be <laughs> about 15,000. So it's a much, much cheaper investment if you have to scale up. A third use for it, which is something that I've been looking into, is uh, when I do sectional throwing. The problem with the setup I have now of just one wheel is that I throw the first section, then I have to remove that, throw the next section, Remove that, put the first section back, put it on top, put them together, remove that, make a third section. And so I'm moving my part back and forward to the wheel all the time. If you have two wheels, you can have one that is like the base part. And then on the second wheel, you throw the sections, put it on the first one, throw another section, put it on the first one. So having two wheels, even if I'm just working on my own, can actually prove very beneficial. Viva did give me a couple of links that you guys can use if you want to buy this wheel. And they, you will find them down in the description below here. You will get 5% discount. I hope again, you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day.